I love golf, but it can be far too expensive, especially if you are a beginner or thinking about buying your first set. Today, we have a set of golf clubs and a very, very bright white towel that you could buy for... 300 pound. That's ridiculous. So these are all trade-ins from uh, your shop, Gary. They are, yeah. We've got Ping, we've got Mizuno, Mizuno, Ping, TaylorMade. So interestingly, a lot of people will go and buy brand new golf clubs, budget golf clubs, maybe Costco Kirkland golf clubs, maybe Decathlon golf clubs. But as PGA pros, we often see there's no real value in trade-ins in those and you're gonna lose all that money pretty much. Today, we're gonna to have a match with these, but they're also, if anyone wants them, um, get in touch with Gaz, because you're you're shipping them off, aren't you? They're genuinely for sale. Yeah. Um, these are on Facebook Marketplace. I mean, I've got them at 325, but I'd take 300 to a subscriber. Yeah. Uh, I think when people think about getting a beginner set of golf clubs, You don't think about getting ping, new. do you? You don't think about getting ping. Um, but there's plenty of this available on Facebook Marketplace. If you go and see your local pro, he'll have, he might not have it on his shop floor, but he'll certainly have bits of stuff kicking about back where he can build you a full set. Um, and if, if all fails, Golf Clubs for Cash. Absolutely, and that's so we've worked quite closely with guys at Golf Clubs for Cash this year, and I've really, really enjoyed it. Some of the bargains that we've had, some of the mystery box challenges that I've had, I played really good golf with. I think there's a lot to be said for just enjoying your golf with any kind of golf club. So today I'm going to absolutely batter Gary Martin with these. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the way it's gone this morning, I've got no idea, but I'm we're, trying to be positive. We're having a bit of a match then. Yeah, we'll have a couple of holes with these. So we're going to go, let's talk three wood first. And this is a Ping G15 three wood, 15 and a half degrees. These were really forgiving back in the day, weren't they? Well, if people don't know, G stands for game improvement. Does so, it? Yeah. How did I not know that? And I were intermediate for the ice. No. It were, yeah. No. It were. Um, so if you're looking for Ping gear, the G series is the more forgiving range. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Right, let you, for, for that, you can have the honour, mate, I think. <laughs> I don't know what K stands for, because they used to do a K series. <laughs> yeah, golf. K right. was the bigger one, wasn't it? It was a K big K must stand for Karsten. Yeah, it did, Solheim I think. Karsten. Uh, and also included in that £300, you get Gary's tailor-made driver. The towel's you, not included. You get his Odyssey putter. No. <laughs> the towel's not included either, I'm afraid. You can have the bag. You can have the bag? I'll chuck you a few balls in you as well. You get the bag? Yeah, you can have the bag. It's only a Masters, but get you going. A little bit of drawery. Oh, that's... It needs a favour. You know what? Trees usually kick them out, but last two times we've played, you've literally clipped a branch there. And gone further in. And it's gone further in. I've never seen that happen before. Definitely not the club. But, I mean... You've seen better days, but for it, that money... It has. But, I mean, like... Sif shaft, is it? We were saying earlier... F shaft? Oh, no, regular no, it's shaft. a regular. regular. We were saying earlier, this will hold its value. You sell this in 12 months' time, Masters Week, April, May, you Cheapest will get chips. 300 pound back. You buy a package set of 300 pound, you try and sell it in 12 months time, it's worth 100, <laughs> if you're lucky, if you're lucky. I can smell blood already. You hit that well, didn't you? Yep, fair way, mate. So out of interest, guys, do us a favour, get in the comments below and let us know what did you pay for your first set of golf clubs? I mean, we're saying this is a beginner set, it probably is an ideal beginner set, but realistically, it's a good set for anyone who, apart, I mean, I, what I'd do, guys, I'd try and find a driver for an extra 40 quid. Yeah. I think 350 with a driver as well, you've literally got a full set. I mean, when we're talking about a beginner set, I have thought about what's in the bag as well. It's not like they're not blades, you know, they're yeah. all something that somebody getting started could use. Yeah. And I think, like you said, with golf clubs for cash, if you're not local to a store, I'm sure if you rung them, they've got qualified staff who could build you a bag of golf clubs. Well, they've got Ray. <laughs> so say take what you will they've got red <laughs> all right right so the issue we're having is not only does gaz know what number he's playing he doesn't know what color golf ball he's playing it was definitely yellow it? Th i thought it was white what are you saying it's definitely yellow yeah it's white mate i've just looked have you really yeah no oh honest, wait honest no. to god it's white i've just looked it can't be it's white I've, I, literally do you want me to show you yeah. So we now know that it is white. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just, it clipped him and it like, I don't know. Just have one more minute. One more minute. Countdown. Is it white flag time? No, you can stick that white flag up your <laughs> Where's it gone? Great beginner set though, isn't it? Right, right we've found it and I'm actually playing like a beginner. 
So the number one rule, guys, is don't try and go directly for the pin if you well, are a, a beginner. Well, there's a gap there for you. No, you don't do that. You come out sideways, you take your medicine. That is a gap. So I'm going to see if I can take my medicine against James and get up and down once I'm back in play. Yeah, well done. That's the, doesn't need to be pretty, does it? That's the most sensible shot. So talk us through what iron you're at there, because the irons are in there, they're pink eyes. Yep, so I've just hit an eight iron. Red numbers. Oh, oh. I broke screen. <laughs> no, you broke my nose. Red numbers in there. Yeah, whoever had these has obviously uh, tarred them up a bit, haven't they, with yeah. red paint. Right, we've got mine. So out of interest, when we talk about, put my lovely new bag down. Anyone happy with that new bag, by the way? I love it. Um, do you feel like you play better or worse with these at all? Oof. I think because they're not my spec, but I, f I think when you're talking about someone getting into golf compared to a beginner set. I feel like I always play, I mean, I'm, I'm going to say this now and I'm, I'm probably going to mess this up, but I always feel like I play all right with clubs like this. Do you? Yeah. I just, get, like, I just kind of get on with it a little bit. Yeah. All right. How far do you reckon? 70? 70, yeah. Bit downwind. Probably more green to work with over that bunker than what we anticipate. Oh, that's good. nice. Be good. Sit. Oh, I'll have a bit of that. It's a birdie putty. You know what? This, as a gap wedge, is absolutely delightful as a shape. Way more forgiving than like a Vokey or something like that. Yeah, I think every beginner should be looking to get a set gap wedge that ma matches into their cavity diet. Definitely, irons. definitely. So, for people who don't know, that's what U stands for. It's the U's like the kind of gap, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, mate, no. Utility wedge. Oh, the white towel. <laughs> as long as it's on inside, we're all right, we're all right. Why are you so precious about the towel? I want it to look good. I think it looks quite nice. Thanks, GX, as well, for sending that. I've got some gloves so that I'm free and you still bothered. <laughs> Pardon? So it was free and you still don't want to use it. <laughs> no, nah, look it after it. Right, so what's the shot here? I've actually gone a little bit long, but that was the lesser of the two evils with that bunker being, uh, being well, where it is in the flag. It might not be a 60 degree shot, course management wise, but I want to test this tailor made rack out. It's an old battered 60 degree wedge, let's yeah. not lie, but let's see if it actually still spins. Yeah. Because sometimes I think we get obsessed by changing as wedges to get spin. Struck it good. It should Struck bounce it in. really good. Come down. Well, we can't really high. see. Oh, I can just see it now. I think it stopped within a foot. Yeah, we can't really see how it reacted because for some reason you went over the bunker, but it's actually quite close. So looking at it there, that's not a bad shot at all to that flag. Well, it's a dare to dream tour style. This would have been a 200 pound putter, James. And I think when you buy a beginner starter set, you're lucky if you get like a crappy lightweight steel putter. Is that a nice soft insert, is it? H505 Pro, yeah. And you tend to get, this is like proper weighted, so you get a little like more said, weight. Like you said, probably needs some TLC, but... Grip's uh, really shoddy. Quite. But for yeah. £10, you could get a new grip. £10. Or Gaz will put you one on. I'll put you one on for full price. I'm just taking all your margin out of it here, aren't I? For three twenty-five, no bartering, you can have a new grip. So that, that gap wedge stopped all right, really. Oh, down yeah. downwind shot looks like a ping b oh remember? yeah like a b60 yeah <whistles> bit of meat on that oh. <laughs> soft off the face wind's up now if i get it i'll give it you Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> That's shoddy. Not your best. Well done. Solid. One up. I wish I'd have get it, you know. One up. Yeah, that's just confidence building now. <laughs> no way I'm losing there. <laughs> Right, I'm, I'm, I think that put us all right, really. Yeah, I was just saying, like, obviously, we put this bag together, just took it out to test it, and uh, I think the grip's that poor it would spoil the enjoyment for me. You know, if you if you buy second-hand clubs and the grips are that bad, yeah. I mean, it's literally shiny, um, feels hard and horrible. I think we a nice new rubber grip on that, which costs a tenner. Yeah, you, you can get some decent ones, can't you? It, it'd feel a complete different cheap. club. Right, next up in the lineup, this. It's not a Shrixen. It's a Mizuno. Oh, a fly high. That's the one for ages. 20 degree, a little free iron club. So the, the big thing for me there is steel shafted. I really, really like 
steel shafted hybrid i thought you can feel it more yeah i think for someone just starting you certainly don't want to be having a three or a four n in your bag no, no i think to have an hybrid not necessarily even to have two hybrids just one yeah just to give that first taste of having a hybrid um for long par threes potentially short par fours if you struggle off tee with driver and yeah second shots just keeping it in play isn't it they don't put steel shafts in hybrids anymore, do they? No, they so don't, because it's all about how much distance can you get, innit? Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's a tiger line. It needs to go a little bit. I'm not sure you meant that, but that's like position A now. <laughs> Did you mean to do that? I'd, I'd meant to hit it a lot longer than that, I'm not going to lie, but it, uh, it didn't feel as... as Why like... you an XL? Powerful as mine. I think when you buy a set like this as well, you almost like start to progressively go through your bag and replace stuff, don't you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's stuff that if you sold it individually, you wouldn't lose much money on. No, the, the key at the start is to have a bag that you can go and play 18 holes of golf with or nine holes of golf with, how many yeah. holes you want to play. This is like massive with loads of offset, isn't it? So it's perfect for yeah. any starter or anyone really that hits the ball to the right. Shot, nice little draw. That felt lovely. And coming from two golf pros as well, I think you could certainly say you get more street credit with that set than you would like a Dunlop or a, I don't know yeah. what, other, what other brands is there out there for starter sets. Realistically, I think yes, because you obviously can look at the Kirklands, but Kirkland, if, you, if you're gonna go and buy a set of irons, which we don't know if you can even get anymore, uh, wedges, putter, you're still like nearly, a, and a driver, you're still nearly a thousand pound in. I know, that's the kind of price range that we wish people would spend on a first set, but we can understand they don't want to. They yeah, want to spend yeah, absolutely. three, four, don't they? I think where you need to be careful is if you start going to places like Sports Soccer or is it Sports World? What's it called now? Sports, so Sports Direct. Sports Direct. And buying a Dunlop set that, like you said, you can easily rack up 400 quid on. When I say we'd like to spend a thousand is because we know that that set will potentially last you three, four years, help you progress. And you'll the probably Kirkland's, get 600 quid back for it. You've reviewed and you know, they're good, aren't they? But, but when you're spending 300 pounds, it's like, you're better off just going at second hand market. Yeah, I think I the think. brand names kind of speak for themselves, don't they? I mean, I've aimed at that post there and that's where it's finished. So like, just buzzing with that really, effortless. One up as well. One up as well. <laughs> yeah, so I think, guys, with a set of lessons, these clubs, and then the mindset of let's just hit fairways, then let's hit greens, you could become some golfer, really. I'll tell you what, the pro giving you lessons would be a lot more pleased if you turn up with them than a set of Dunlop. Yeah, it would. Sorry, I'm proper brain Dunlop here, aren't I? I mean, these are market for somebody who like literally can't afford, if you might not even be able to afford 300, and I'm yeah. sure Dunlop you can get a like, 99, 129 yeah. set. Um, well, you're better off just saving a couple of them, aren't you? Because I know, yeah. like you said, some of might have afford it, but resale value, it, it's like, it's cheaper, isn't it, to get the we, good stuff? We can only stand here and be honest. Yeah. You know, the, the, the brands that are selling sets at one nine, uh, £99, they're just trying to appease a market, aren't they, or steal yeah. a market? But for, in terms of golf clubs, crap. you know, we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't do all with them, surely. Yeah, I beat you with them. But. <laughs> <laughs> There's another video now, isn't there, playing with £99 shoes. Mate, I've got about... 15 99 pound sets I'm worried really? about yeah of course they have all sorts are they shit yeah how's a wooden wooden tee bent right i've got eight iron gonna go nowhere near that flag oh he's going for par par should be enough where sensible. you are tell me that's oh, not the perfect shot he's caressed it in the perfect shot and this is what i mean about fairways and greens we've got 20 feet there I wasn't aiming at the flag. In fact, I was aiming at the flag to move off it with the wind. Well done. Well done. I'm going to need some magic. Oh, guys, I've got NS Pro motor shafts in these. I know. That's why it felt so good. Guys, that's a little Brucey bonus. I didn't realise, but these irons have got NS Pro motor shafts in, and they're like, I think they were an upcharged shaft back in the day. I'm not sure how much you pay for them now, but a I think it's 100 Nippon. That felt delightful, and that might be why the gap wedge felt delightful as well. Oh, that's good. nice. All right, pal. You got it? No. <laughs> right, we've got her. And speaking about these shafts, how important do you think shaft is for a... And I don't, I don't want to say beginner, because I'm going I'm to tell yeah. this video not to be for beginners. I'm just going to say people who want a good budget set of clubs. Yeah. How important shaft? 
Oh. I think sometimes, sometimes it's overlooked, but sometimes I feel massively as though shaft is over, over important. I think sometimes just, just get a set of stiff shafts and go with it, or regular shafts, what would suit your swing speed. You're going to say the opposite, aren't you? Well, I think I think if you're not sure about shafts, I think you're almost better with a softer shaft to get the ball up in the air more. Yeah. But when I'm saying that, I'm assuming that all beginners can't get the ball in the air. So yeah. Look at might... Foxy, for example. Yeah. Club head speed, ridiculous, but just struggles to control it. So a regular shaft for him would just go high left straight away. Well out. Well out. Yeah, good. Very good. We've got a putt. Well out of that. Right, two greens in reg, which again, when we're talking about these clubs, you're going to take that all day. Nice stoppage out the rough for you. Mine's, mine's stopped on a dime as well. I mean, that, another very difficult flag position. Look at that. Come on. Great roll. Uh, Great it's roll. Too bad. Do you hear that? This for the bird. This would win the match, wouldn't it? I'm not thinking that way, guys. <laughs> thinking just stick to your routine, tap it up there. I think for newer golfers, that's the strategy as well. <laughs> that nearly went in, but to try and make sure that you put in for two. If yeah. you start trying to like knock them in, you can end up seven foot past and make three putts. Yeah, quite easily. Right guys, we're gonna finish this off over on the par three ninth, where we're gonna have a look, another look at these irons and these delightful shafts, which, did you realize how good these shafts are? I didn't actually pay that Price is going up. <laughs> <laughs> right, one up with one to play. It's a lovely flag position to go out that as well. So it's going to have to be another mid iron, probably go eight iron, I think, from here. Do you want to get yardage and see what we've got? Because yardage wise, I think these are pretty strong, so they'll go a decent way, won't they? Yeah, I mean. I remember these from when I used to work in the shop at Tankersley, I think. I think these were the kind of in clubs at the time. Yeah, it's saying 149. Perfect. Uphill, downwind. Right, wind off left, down. Again, just focus on hitting the green. You don't really want a downhill put here. James, that's terrible. That's just what Gary wanted you to hit. <laughs> that's well short. Well, I think I'm going to club up one after that. Yeah, it was a good strike, but I think it was probably the wrong club, I think. Playing more uphill, isn't it? I'm going to try to miss it to, well, Bottom side at green. That's nice. at it, if it's the club. Oh, great oh, shot. A little bit short, short, but that's just the put you want. Yeah. Well done. Distance-wise, not as bad as I thought, but this isn't the shot you want, mate, is it? Not with this uh, sharp 60-degree wedge. Oh, don't say that, <laughs> you awful man. On a wet lie. I might go, I might go gap wedge. Uh, <laughs> One dig in and you thought, yeah, no, literally, that li way. literally that. Sit. Oh, that is terrible. That is terrible. It's going to need a good put. At least you can't lose. <laughs> so I've got that for par. I mean, it wasn't that hard a chip, realistically. I've tried to land it there and I've just thinned it a bit. Just a bad lie, and you I'm, put me off with it. I'm going to even leave my glove on like a beginner would. <laughs> well, Jack Nicholas did that, to be fair. Did he used to? Yeah. I didn't know that. You learn something every day at golf, don't you? Oh, I've duffed it. I'm, well, I'm amazed you left that divot there like a beginner would have done as well. I've duffed it. <laughs> You lazy boy, oh, he's moved it now. Do you want to go or do you want me to go? I'll let you go. That's a tip, innit? Always clean it if you can. If you've got option, yeah. And I'd always say tee it up as well if you've got a chance. Well, if like you, on a tee? If you're new, if you're a new golfer, you know, yeah, par threes, stuff like that. <sighs> you got the line. Yeah, but you're never going to hit it, are you, on that line? Yeah, yeah. Like, to be honest, I ain't falls enough there. T shots let me down, but I've took my medicine, made sure I've got four. You're going to make four, and then I've won. Because that grip. I definitely drive in your position. 
I'm going to clean it. This, how, how do you want it? If you don't follow the channel, guys, you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button because we have a lot of matches now, don't we? Yeah. And especially me playing more this year, we're going to have him more than ever. And none like to lose. So this might even get a little fist pump if it rolls in. Don't quit on it, guys. I can feel the heartbeat. Get it. <laughs> it means a lot that not to we can't lose I can't lose any this season. Right. Guys, if you do want these clubs, make sure you go and check them out. Gazza's link is in the description below. Apart from that, thank you so much for watching. How have I not won that match? Apart from that, I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye.